Hi, in this video you will learn how to create panning photo effect in PowerPoint 2013. I'm Ram Gopal from Prezotraining.com, a site that offers creative presentation ideas for business presenters, trainers and consultants. The beautiful panning photo effect you will learn to create today looks like this. As you can see we have a still photo of the mountains. On a click you can see that the camera beautifully pans across the entire mountain range and it gives a video like effect to the audience. Let me show you how to create this awesome effect in PowerPoint 2013 from scratch. Here I am on a new slide and the first thing I require is a picture that is oriented horizontally in a long stretched panoramic effect. So let us go to a site called pixabay.com and I have searched under scenery and the kind of picture that I want to have is uh, something like um, you can see that there are pictures of all kinds of dimensions here. This one has a long horizontal panoramic uh, view. This one is even better. You can see that the length is much larger. There are quite a few photos of this type. You can search for them and you would be able to find some very interesting ones may it be about the bridge like this or mountains like this. Maybe I can take this bridge picture and let me show you how exactly to create the effect from scratch. I'm going to download this. So let us go to free download option. And the option that I require is something like this, which is 1920 by 606. I don't really require too much of high resolution pictures, which are only going to add weight to the slide. So I'm going to just stick to this one and I'm going to say download. And that downloads the picture onto my computer. I just need to go here, go to show in folder, wherever you have stored that particular picture, you can copy it and you can come back to the slide and you can paste it. And here you can see that we have inserted the picture, but then there is a certain PowerPoint default that makes sure that all the photos that you insert are resized to fit the slide area. Now we don't want to stick to that particular default and therefore we are going to zoom out and then we are going to expand this particular picture so that the height of this picture matches the slide area. So let me go to the status bar and, and click on the zoom out option. Now I'm going to select this picture, move it in such a way that the top left corner of the picture aligns with the top left corner of the slide area. And I'm going to click on this particular white circle in the corner of the bottom right. And I'm going to drag it so that the height of the picture and the height of the slide area match. And once that is done, it is time to animate this. The animation I'm going to add to this is a simple motion path animation. So let me go here to motion paths, click on lines and you can see the default animation direction is from top to bottom. We are going to change that by going to effect options here and we are going to choose the option called left. So that gives that beautiful panning effect. Now you can see that the level to which this motion path is uh, provided in default is only short. We need to extend this further. So I'm going to hold the shift button down as I click on this particular uh, red spot, which is the indicator of the end point of this animation. I'm going to hold the shift button as I'm going to move this so that the end position is more like something like this so that the end point aligns with the end point of the slide area. You may have to do a bit of experimentation because you may not actually get it right the first time around. And there are a couple of things that I'm going to do to make sure that this animation plays smoothly. So I'm going to go to this animation event. The first thing I'm going to do is to go to this small little drop down menu here on the right hand side, go to effect options. I don't want any smooth start or smooth end. So I'm going to move these two uh, indicators to the left corner and I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to have this animation happen very slowly so that the effect is very beautiful. So I'm going to go to the duration option here and I'm going to give it say 10 seconds. So it takes a lot of time to pan across so that the audience gets an immersive feeling when they see your slide. So now let us see how the slide plays. Let me go to the slideshow mode and you can see that there is no jerk. There is no um, delay in start and the whole panning effect looks beautiful. So that is how you create panning photo effect in PowerPoint 2013. You liked today's video? Great. 
See, it's one thing to learn PowerPoint by picking up useful tips and tricks from different places. But it can only take you so far. If you really want to master PowerPoint, then you need to enroll into a structured training program that improves your skills systematically. That is why I created Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program. It is arguably the most comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training online. Whether you are a rank beginner or an advanced user of PowerPoint, the program will take your skills to the next level. You get step-by-step -step video tutorials, downloadable files, exercises, resources, checklists and quizzes that help you use PowerPoint creatively to get business results. You can find more details about Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program by clicking on the link in the description area below this video. And by the way, as a thank you for watching this video this far, I invite you to a free mini training called 16 Snackable PowerPoint Tips. The course offers 16 super short emails with 30 second PowerPoint tricks you can implement right away and impress your bosses, colleagues and audiences. You can join the free mini training by clicking on the button here. There is also a link to this free mini training in the description area below. So please join the free mini training and I'll see you inside.